All right, guys, we're gonna jump right in. I'm going to be going over what a basic half highlight looks like with me in the salon. So I'm going in and I'm weaving our first section here. This is going to give us a really nice bright focal point with our color. So I'm going in and I am using Redken Flash Lift Bonder inside with 10 volume. I like the thought process of low and slow, so I like to use a low volume developer and let the hair process a little bit longer. That way I'm protecting the hair as much as possible. I like to really saturate my foils, that way I get a very even lift. And then I just like to take my brush and blur the product towards the scalp. I'm going to continue this process of foiling until I meet the back triangle on the apex of the head. Once I'm finished foiling this first section, I like to go back in and crease all of my foils at the same time. This is going to save me time as well as free up the hair underneath the foils. That way I don't miss them while I foil the right side of the head. Now starting on the right side of the head near the sideburn, I like to start my foils diagonally. That way when she pulls her hair back, she's gonna be able to see those nice bright highlights. I like to apply my product in zone two because it helps glue the hair that I'm foiling to the foil. That way I don't get slippage and I don't get bleed marks. As I'm working up the right side of the head, I begin to pivot my foils. Basically, I am going from diagonal placement to horizontal placement. This is going to allow me to get full coverage on the right side of the head. Here you can see that I'm getting the fullest coverage possible because I had creased the first section of foils. You'll know you've done this foil placement correctly when you see a C shape on the right and left side of the head. I'm gonna move on and basically do the left side of the head the same exact way, and then we'll move on to the back. Our last section on the apex of the head is an upside down triangle. We're gonna do three diagonal foils on the left and right side of this upside down triangle. And then we're gonna be left with a smaller triangle on the inside of those foils. Once we get to that point, we're gonna basically just horizontally foil to connect the rest of the mohawk. Now that we finished foiling our last section, we're gonna let the hair lift to a level nine. We're gonna finish these highlights off with gloss from Redken Shades EQ. We're gonna tap her with 7N, 7NW, and then all over we're gonna glaze her with 9N, 9NW, and 9GI.
Before we blow her out, we're going to be styling with some Kevin Murphy Young Again Oil and some Kevin Murphy Bodybuilder Mousse. All right, and here is the after. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. This is something that I do in the salon almost every day, and I think that this turned out beautifully. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.